All right, so we'll come back to today's lesson. Of course, we'll continue looking at tutorial questions and the limits. Okay, so if you have any questions or you need or you want to join any online lessons or you have friends that would like to join uh, the tuitions, you can simply uh, give them any of these contacts on the screen. Let them contact me as soon as possible. Then um, we'll see how best we can help each other. All right, so this is now question five uh, in the tutorial sheet, yeah, from the tutorial sheet. So this question is asking us to evaluate uh, the limits. So question five and question six um, um, are almost the same. Yeah, because they are all asking us to evaluate the limits and yeah, to evaluate the limits if they exist. So I'm going to be a bit fast because uh, from the questions that we have covered, I would say maybe even this question five was covered in, explain, in, in explaining. All right, so question five is asking us to evaluate the limits if they exist. So when you look at these questions, these are these functions, these are piecewise functions. Yeah, so um, reading this or the way you read this is as um, f of x, f of x is equal to, so f of x will only be 15 for all the values that are less than negative four. And then it will be uh, six um, uh, minus two X for all values of X that are greater or equal to negative four. And then they are asking us now to find the limit, the limit um, of F of X when X is approaching negative four. So remember what I said, when you are trying to uh, determine whether the limit exists or not, you have to make sure that uh, the limit, if for instance, you have the limit of uh, G of X as X is approaching a certain uh, number A. So if they ask you to determine whether this, this limit exists or not, what you need to do is to find the limit of this same function on the left and also on the right. Yeah, so what I mean is you find when X is approaching A from the negative, which is from the left, and you also have to find um, the limit of the same G of X when X is approaching A from the uh, right. So this is from the left, this is from the right. So if you discover that this is equal to this, it means that the limit of g of x as x approaches a exists. But once you discover that this is not equal to that, it means that the limit as x is, the limit of g of x as x is approaching um, a uh, does not exist. Yeah, so if these two are different, the limit, the left sided and, and the left side and the right side limits are different, you conclude that the limit does not exist. And if they, are, if they are equal, it means that it does exist. And the solution for this, if let's say for the solution for this is, um, is something like, um, maybe let me just name it B. If the solution for this and that is B, it means that this same B is the solution for the limit as X, uh, the limit of G of X as X approaches A. So that is exactly what you're supposed to do, even for these questions. So I hope you have understood what I've said. Let us now take um, the same concept that I've uh, explained into practice. Okay, so we have f of x there as a piecewise function. And then we have, um, yeah, so we first have to, um, yeah, we first have to uh, determine the limit of f of x the limit of f of x as x is approaching what? Oh, sorry for that. So we have to determine the limit of f of x as x is approaching negative four from what? From the left, which is less than uh, negative four. So if we say from the left, we're simply talking about um, numbers that are less than what? Negative four, meaning we're talking about the negative numbers from negative four going to the negative infinity. So we find the limit, we find this limit 
as oh, I mean the limit of f of x as x is approaching uh, negative four from the negative side. So finding this, what this means is that in the function that you've been given there, in this case, the function that has been given is uh, 15. So the function that has been given here is 15. So in this function, I'm going to replace this same negative four. And let's see, um, and let's see what we're going to get. Okay. So when you replace that, so we have 15, but because this 15 is a constant, uh, if you want, you can say 15x to the power zero, which is just the same as 15. While this x you replace with negative four, you discover that the answer that you're going to get will still be what? Will still be 15. So this is the solution for that part. Then let us also look at the right side of uh, this limit. So the right side of this limit is simply just the limit of f of x as x approaches what? x approaches negative four from the positive side. So from the positive side, we have, uh, so from the positive side, we have this function here because this is, uh, this is uh, the one that has x, which is greater or equal to negative four. So let us find that. So meaning we're, we're going to replace negative four in the function. So we have six minus two, what is x I'm putting what negative four. So now if we add these two, Rather, if we simplify this, we're going to get uh, six, negative two times negative four, we're getting what? Positive eight. Then when you add the two, you're going to get 14 as the solution. So now, if you look at this 15 and this 14, are they the same? They're not equal. So now, since the limit of f of x, as x is approaching negative four from the negative side or from the left, is not equal to, the limit of f of x as x is approaching um, negative four from the positive side. So now, since this is not equal to that, this implies that um, the limit of, it implies that the limit they're asking us to find there does not exist, meaning the limit of f of x as x is approaching um, negative four does not exist. So this one does not exist because we have found that this side is different from this side. We found 15 on the left and then on the right, we found what? 14. So let us quickly see how we solve part B as well, because part A is simple. Um, I'm sure you've understood. Okay, let's move on to the next um, part. So part B says, we find the limit of G of T as T, this was supposed to be as T approaches what? approaches two and not x. So there was an error here. It wasn't supposed to be x there, so it was supposed to be t. So let us look at the one-sided limits and then see if they're going to be equal or not. So when you take the left side of, um, when you take the left side of uh, two, because we're trying to find if the limit of g of t uh, when t is approaching two exists or yeah, if it exists, then what is it? So that's what we are trying to find here. So let us try, let, let us um, get uh, the values of t that are on the left side of two. So if we say we find the limit of g of t, as t approaches what? Two from the left side. So this is equal to, uh, we get the function that is representing the left side of the limit, sorry for that. So we get the function that is representing the left side of the limit. So when you check the left side of the limit is simply just the t values that are less than two. So the function there is t squared minus t cubed. So in that expression, I'm going to replace two. So I'm going to have, um, okay, the function is, um, okay, the function is t uh, uh, squared. Let me just write it here. We have t squared minus t cubed. So what is t I'm going to replace with what? Two. So what is t I'm putting two? So we have two there. Then we square that. The minus another two there, we raise that to the power three. So this uh, two squared will give us four. This two uh, to the power three will give us what? Eight. So when you subtract the two, you're getting negative four as the solution. So let us now also try to get the right side of uh, this limit. So we have the limit of g of t 
as t approaches two from the right. So we put two, we plug in two in, in the expression that shows the right side of what? Of this uh, function. So let us um, plug in. So in this function that we have there, five t minus 14, while this t I'm going to put what? I'm going to put two. So I'm going to have a five times two there minus 14. So this will give me 10, five times two give me 10 minus 14. And the solution is what? Negative four. So now since the solution that we found here on the left is equal to the solution that we found on the right, we can conclude that the limit of, um, we can conclude that the limit of G of T as T approaches uh, two from either sides is equal to uh, negative four. So we can say it exists and the solution for that is negative four. If they give you, or if they ask you to give a reason, you can either give it mathematically or um, in words. Yeah, so in words, you can just say since the left side, uh, since the uh, one-sided limits are equal, um, then the limit of G of T as T is approaching to um, is uh, rather it exists and it is negative four. But if you want to show it mathematically, you can simply just say the limit of g of t when x um, g of t when x is approaching two from the left side is equal to the limit of g of t as t approaches two from the positive. So this side and that side, this side and that side are what? Are equal, and since they are equal, you can conclude that the limit of g of t as t approaches two from either sides is what uh, I mean exists. And when it exists, you have to give the solution there, and the solution is this answer is the same answer that you found on the first part there and on the second part. All right, so let's quickly move on to question five, or rather question six, which also which is also similar to. Uh, the previous question. So let's quickly move to that question. <clears throat> 